It's All America. Always has been. Damn it, America. <laughs> yeah. We back. Day 40. More missile defense. Yada yada. I mean, I'm already, like, I'm just waiting for them to attack at this point, you know? It was vast, so they didn't have it. These MS are really struggling not to do that, but yeah. Right, more MPAs. Please. So yeah, this kind of become a routine. I get on here and make my stuff and get off, you know? Because I don't have a navy, I can't realistically push that guy in if I really wanted to, you know? But yeah, my MPAs are getting better by the day, of course. So, you know, I respect it at least, and all that. Um, hmm. And with this upgrade, they'll be able to look farther, but... Even then, you know, how's our allies doing? Here's my Moroccan attack right here. Looks pretty good. The land I've taken. And now that also means I can make an airbase here at Dakar and have that be a push out moment. As in we can use that to get closer to the people. So yeah, I'll do this. Take this, and then I'll take all the land leading up to it. Actually, yeah, because I'm just taking the land. Stop, stop it, stop. Follow my exact orders, please. Here. Yeah, I got something to do, bam. Take all that, we'll like basically get a coastline secured. Probably for the worst, but yeah. Ah, it sells on it sells yet to use the ships over there, by the way. It's we've seen that for a week now. Oh my god, this guy does not take this damn province, bro. I should have just built airfields and air let the people in. It's very clear that Venezuela's using the airport to bomb us. You know? Alright. But my military is pretty good. Like, I just been building up defensively because of all the damages I keep sustaining. Because there's really no reason for me to be offensive with it. It's just the defensive love, you know? Um. That always looks like I'm going to have to make, um. More TDs. I have so many troops, it's actually kind of insane now, in my opinion. But yeah, if this guy ever did try to push into us, I feel like he'd have a bad time with all the air defense I got drilling though. I mean, realistically, oh my god, this attack and defense though. Because <laughs> I have like nowhere to really put them at. For duty. You know? So, um, I guess I'll probably want to start pushing into an Asian countries with this little pocket here. I don't know. Yeah, it's pushing the... Huh. Actually, no, 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 no. Let's have them push into India. That sounds better. Actually, Sri Lanka would be way better. Yeah. We'll take a day or whatever. Let's have you split into a two man group. Let's have you push into India to Bangalore. I guess don't go by water then. And Mumbai too. Wait, Mumbai isn't the capital here? Oh yeah, because it's New Delhi. You just hear about Mumbai the most though. Up here in America. 
Um, I should probably send over Tank Destroyer to actually to help with it. I don't have that many Tank Destroyers in Turku apparently, dang. Uh, let's send over one of ours from this little group. To help with Mumbai and all of that, you know. And just send great here, hopefully. But yeah. Those two times are not matched up properly, so they will not be able to assist each other immediately, I think. In fact, with infantry I'm sending... 23... 23... I, I mean, it's practically actually the same time that I'm looking at it. Yeah, it's li literally the people get there, like my naval infantry, and then 15 minutes later it's gonna be the tank destroyers. So most infantry get outright killed, the tank destroyers will back them up to the fullest of their extents. But yeah. And he also has aircraft carriers or whatever, according to my spies, which are basically all dead or all gone. Which I don't really care. So, Chili's doing fine with his resources. I'm trying to get peace trades. And Venezuela seems to be doing a little bit worse. So, he's making a air superior fighters and then heavy bombers in Bolivia. Are. The strike fighters aren't up to par. So my Sams will chew through them. Then he has this right here, which I don't think would be very... See, this is a mistake. In my opinion. Because what you want to do is have it in the middle of the city so it has guaranteed defense. Because by having it on the side, I believe you can literally just spam rockets to these areas and they won't stop all of them. Like, the only reason to have it not on the city so you don't kill by air troops, and then again, build Sam's, or build MAA, which I know he has low level of. I mean, if this actually right here does work, I'll be surprised, for sure. And I will send in, like, backups, reinforcements, too, to that location, I think. From more of an enemy. I mean, back if I mean two tank destroyers, which in the long term ain't gonna help because it'll be like a legit, a whole day difference. But yeah. But if they can survive for that long, though, they'll, they'll get some assistance. Because I should have probably put down a bigger force and just spread it out, but I was an idiot and did not do that. And now I'm kind of paying the price here if this does not work. Because sometimes they just don't expect you to straight up attack. I'm like, the thing is, I'm expecting him to attack us. But I'm not expecting him to defend this. You know? Like, what is it expecting to attack? I mean, you shouldn't always do that, but if you're, like, boarding a guy and they aren't at war with other people, maybe be a little bit suspicious, but yeah. Be like that, you know? But anyway, that's me for this one, y'all. I'll catch you in the next one later. Let's have a good one. Together, I guess. Peace.